Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to solve equations by factoring. So we're going to do some problems together first, and then you have a chance to try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so here we have the equation x plus 3 times x minus 4 equals 0. And this has already been factored out, so what you do is you have each factor equal 0. So this is going to be an x plus 3 equals 0. And then we're going to do the x minus 4 equals 0. And then what you do is you solve for x. So I'm going to take away 3 from both sides. So this is going to give us a solution of x equals negative 3. That's one solution. And here I'm going to add 4 to both sides. And the other solution is going to be x equals a positive 4. Now let me show you why these are solutions. If I plug in a negative 3 up here, well, negative 3 plus 3 is 0, right? So no matter what I put over here, well, negative 3 take away uh, 4 is negative 7. But negative 7 times our 0 is still going to give us a 0, right? Same thing over here. If I plug in a 4 for x, well, 4 take away 4 is 0. So anything times 0 is going to always equal 0. So the goal is you always want to try to have each factor equal 0. And then you solve for the, the x value. So here we have x squared plus 5x plus 4 equals 0. And notice, this one is not factored yet. So I'm going to factor this out. So that's going to give us an x and an x. And it looks like a plus a 4 and a plus a 1. And then, just like before, we're going to have each factor equal 0. So it's going to be an x plus 4 equals 0. And then an x plus 1 equals 0. And now we just solve for x. So I'm going to take away 4 from both sides. And this will give us a solution of x equals negative 4. And this one I'm going to take away 1 from both sides. And here we'll get a solution of x equals negative 1. And there it is. Alright, let's take a look at a couple more that are a little more advanced. And here we have x cubed minus 4. Let's have that equal 0. Add a 0 there, please. So just like before, we need to factor. So I can factor out a common factor of an x. So this is going to be an x times x squared minus 4 equals 0. And we're not done factoring because this x squared minus 4 is a difference of squares. So we could write this as x times an x plus 2 times an x minus 2 equals 0. So this equation is going to actually have three solutions because now we're going to write each factor equals 0. So it's going to be x equals 0. We're going to do an x plus 2 equals 0. And then finally we're going to do an x minus 2 equals 0. Alright, so again the goal is you want to factor it and then take each factor and have it equal 0 and then we're going to solve for x. So here we know x is 0, that's our first solution. This one we'd have to take away 2 so x is going to be a negative 2. And here we're going to add 2, so x is going to equal a positive 2. And there it is. Alright, now this last one is a little more complex because notice this expression doesn't equal 0. So we want to first take away 8 from both sides to get a 0 on the, on the right hand side. So it's now going to be 3x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. And now we want to factor. So I know the first term is a 3x squared, so it's going to be a 3x and an x. And our last term is a negative 8. So I'm going to try a minus 4 and a plus a 2. Let's see if that works. So the middle term would be uh, negative 4x and 6x, which is 2x, yep. And then negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8. Alright, so now that's factored. Now we need to write each factor equal to 0. So it's going to be 3x minus 4 equals 0. And then x plus 2 equals 0. And now I'm going to solve for x. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So now we have 3x equals 4. And then divide both sides by 3. And when we do that, we get x equals 4 thirds. That's our first solution. Okay. Now this time we have an improper fraction. You're not going to always get nice whole numbers with these. And this one here, 
We're going to now take away 2 from both sides. And we get a solution of x equals negative 2. And there it is. So now that you have a good understanding of how to solve equations by factoring, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say do with these problems. So the first one, we have x squared minus 7x equals 0. So I need to factor the left-hand side. And remember, you always want to look for the GCF. And this one has the GCF of x. So it's going to be x times x minus 7 equals 0. So we have two factors. We have an x and an x minus 7. So I'm going to have each one equals 0. So x equals 0, and then x minus 7 equals 0. So there's one solution, x is 0. And for this one, I'm going to add 7 to both sides. And we end up with x equals a positive 7 as the second solution. All right, finally, this one over here is a little more advanced because notice it doesn't equal 0. Okay, So I'm going to transform the equation by take, taking away 56 from both sides. So when I do that, I now get x squared plus x minus 56 equals 0. So now I need to factor. So that's going to be an x and an x. And let's see, what times what gives us negative 56, but adds up to positive 1. And that's going to be a plus an 8 and a minus a 7. So now we make each factor equal to 0, right? So x plus 8 equals 0, and x minus 7 equals 0. So now when we solve for x, x is going to equal negative 8. And then when I add 7 to both sides, x equals positive 7. All right? So, guys, the big idea about solving uh, equations by factoring is you have to have one expression equal 0. Okay? So, notice, over here, we have x squared minus 7x equals 0. That was done for us. Where over here, we had to take away 56 from both sides to have it equal 0. And then you factor, and then you have each factor equal 0, and you solve for x. And that will give you the solution. All right. How'd you do?